Thank you so much. Thank you, San Francisco. <laughs> um, I'm very humbled to be here before you and for the great recognition and responsibility that is bestowed upon me by all of you today. And just to be part of this is incredible. So thank you for everyone that made it possible. As a child growing up in rural Kenya, I grew up very close to nature. My late mother's worst nightmare was that I would get sick eating poisonous fruits or get stung by a bee while poking the beehives for wild honeycombs. As a mother today, I dream of my own, my own child's future. I dream of love. I dream of friends. I dream of my grandma. I dream of my sisters. I dream of a better Kenya, a better Africa, and a better world. As a child, thank you. As a child in Kenya, a tomboy, I loved to climb trees. They were everywhere. I wonder if my son will ever learn to climb a tree. That is my worst nightmare. That my son will never experience the joys that I experienced as, as a child. It's a nightmare that I would love to turn around. It's a nightmare that the future generations will face, the nightmare they will face because their parents failed to do what is right for them. Yet, together as one, we can face any adversity. Our might comes from togetherness, not from solitary woes, not from fear. It comes from pulling each other up on this journey. Like termites, we can build the tallest environmental tower of might and leave our children the planet that they deserve. For too long, the odds have been stacked against us. We've seen communities subjected to systems designed to muzzle them. We've seen, we've seen communities expected to beg for a right to nature, water, air, a playground free of toxic poisons. We've seen governments hide behind laws and rights that communities cannot understand, much less demand. The systems are riddled with too much loopholes, too many loopholes ripe for exploitation. But today, I feel the winds changing. I feel the tides turning. I feel that the struggle for the environment today is evolving. I see an awakening that the environment is a human right, an understanding that if you violate it, you violate mankind and our future. We have a lot to accomplish and not a lot of time, but it's not too late to start now. Asante Nisan, thank you so much.